I have tried pork before. Okay, <laughs> back in middle school, uh, I used to love deli meat, and I didn't know salami was pork, <laughs> so uh, I would eat, so it was so good, I would eat it every day, <laughs> and <laughs> someone told me it was, like, I, because I used to eat it because I thought it was the only thing that wasn't pork, and then I, like, I was telling one of my friends about it, and they're like, that's pork, you're, like, you're stupid, and I was like, wow. That's so crazy. <laughs> and it was the saddest day ever. <laughs> like, like, I stopped eating it, though. That's crazy that you say that, because I literally had the same experience. It wasn't, it was unintentional, because yeah. I was in first grade, <laughs> and, <laughs> and they were giving us, like, in school, they were giving us uh, pork, and uh, I didn't know, it was like ham or something, ham and cheese, and one of my other friends was actually Muslim, I'm still friends with her to, till this day, actually, and she... I was eating it, and I used to eat it every single day for like school. <laughs> yeah. I used to eat it every single day for lunch, and then one day she was like, "Hanan, that is pork." And I literally, I remember like I had no idea. I was like, "Wait, is it bad?" And she was like, "Yeah, it is." So I literally, I remember spitting everything yeah. out, and I felt like there was worms growing in my stomach. Yeah. I swear to God, I was so scared. It wasn't salami; it was bologna. Muslim parents are always strict. Okay, like, my parents aren't strict, and it depends what, what you define strict as, but I wouldn't say, so, like, I don't know if you're saying, like, strict, like, you know, in every aspect, but, like, there are certain things my parents are strict with, certain things that they're not strict with, but I feel like not having that wouldn't bring me to be the person I am today. And I'm blessed to have, like, a mom um, who, you know, she's letting me do things, and nothing haram, nothing bad, it's just that, like, she's like, okay, your curfew is at 8. And at least she's like letting me have like a high school experience. She's letting me go yeah. out and do things and stuff like that. And I've had I've had like Muslim friends um, who don't even wear the hijab, but like you know their Muslim mm -hmm. their Muslim parents are just like you can't do anything. You yeah. can't go out. Exactly. There's like level like there's like yeah. levels. So it. like I'm just yeah I'm just blessed to have a mom who at least let me do mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. My entire high school career like I can go out once you know mm -hmm. and my brothers cut the rules and stuff like that so i'm like so scared because like i mentioned the party and like my mom was so strict and like she's like right there and she's like <laughs> looking at me right now <laughs> and i'm like kind of scared but like she's like even though like she's like russian like people are like oh like she's russian no like she's like super strict and like yeah like no so i'm sorry like no party i promise and i'm blessed to have like a mom um who you know she's letting me do things and nothing haram nothing bad it's just that like She's like, okay, your curfew is at 8. And at least she's, like, letting me have, like, a high school experience. She's letting me yeah. go out and do things and stuff like that. And I've had, I've had like, Muslim friends um, who don't even wear the hijab, but, like, you know, their Muslim, mm -hmm. their Muslim parents are just like, you can't do anything. You yeah. can't go out. Exactly. There's, like, level, like there's like yeah. levels. So, it. like, I'm just, yeah, I'm just blessed to have a mom who at least let me do mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. My entire high school career, like, I can go out once, you know, mm -hmm. and my brothers cut the rules and stuff like that so i'm like so scared because like i mentioned the party and like my mom was so strict and like she's like right there and she's like <laughs> looking at me right now <laughs> and i'm like kind of scared but like she's like even though like she's like russian like people are like oh like she's russian no like she's like super strict and like yeah like no so i'm sorry like no party i promise after new zealand i'm afraid to be around white people has always been <laughs> <laughs> just because I'm Muslim, you're Christian, you're Catholic, you're Jewish, that doesn't, we're still humans. Like, I sh you shouldn't be yeah. afraid of me, and I shouldn't be afraid of you. No one should be afraid of anyone at the end of the day, because you're not superior to me, and I'm not superior to you. I am cautious around new white people that I meet, well, also because I'm black. <laughs> and, like, I know that, like, not everyone um, is really open-minded, you know, and, like, not every, like, like, I, you never really know. You never know. Just like that guy from New, New Zealand, you never know. We're all human. You know, we all have a heartbeat, so. I'm happy to be Muslim. If I had the chance to convert someone I love to Islam, I would do it. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> I want people to, like, see the light <laughs> you know like I want them to see that like I feel like if they really if everyone truly got to like learn about Islam like the good sides you know 
like they would want to be Muslim. The only scary thing about it is that you don't want to force it upon yeah. them. Like especially if they're your close friend and you like genuinely do care about them, you don't want to be like, no, you must fast because you're my friend. Like, yeah. you know, you, yeah, especially you don't want to lose that friend. Yeah. So if yeah. someone's interested, enlighten. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Would you marry someone who already has a wife? Because you know how in Islam it's allowed to have four wives. <laughs> no, shot. no question. No, no question. Bro. That was like, a no. joke. <laughs> yeah, like you know that's Sunday, right? You get more blessings for that. No, okay, but it's, it's also fine. okay. I know someone. Like, whoa. <laughs> it's yes, but like it's on this. I think it's for the situation. Like, I it's know like a friend who she's married because what happened is she she was married, and then she had a kid, and then she got divorced, and then a man that was married who with kids met her and he he got married so he has two wives and what you're supposed to do is like in the Quran is like everything you do for one wife when something for, that's like three thousand dollars you buy the other one something that's three thousand dollars so yeah. everything has to be like exact and like yes like everyone's getting the like same but like I'm just not and like I respect it and I understand the reasoning why someone would do it if it's in that circum like if it's in that situation, yeah. you know. For me, I want to share my man by my by myself. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to share him with no other woman. So I feel like uh, guys nowadays take that too far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like they see like you're not like the prophet. You don't have enough money to afford like three wives or something. Like if I'm able to at least afford an apartment every month and not miss um, my due rent or whatever, like I want to be able to be like stable enough to actually get married, um, and then so like I don't have to every month like going to my husband and be like hey I need money because that's just a really like terrible I already feel bad asking my mom for money <laughs> like I don't want to be able to ask you know is hijab necessary so I believe in hijab is necessary because it's written through Quran to wear hijab and what's written in the Quran as Muslim woman we should follow and yes I don't wear hijab but inshallah one day I want to wear the hijab I think that it is a decision and I believe that it is a decision that you make within yourself and that when you're ready. You should never be forced to wear hijab because then you can go back on your word and want to like remove your hijab which I disagree with. And you should wear hijab when you are ready. So no one should tell you, your parents shouldn't tell you to wear it, you shouldn't do it for the wrong reasons. You do it when within you, you're praying five times a day you understand the, the things that you have to do and then you say okay I'm ready to wear the hijab it's, and I really do believe it's necessary for us then and it protects us as well. I personally don't believe it's necessary because the Quran says many things and not most of them aren't really meant to take be taken literally at the end of the day God bases everything you do based on intentions and based on what you decide to do as a Muslim whether because people can wear a hijab and not be a good person people can wear a hijab and not pray five times a day um, or not. I am happy to be Muslim. <laughs> yeah, Islam, just like we said, <laughs> Islam, I feel like, like everyone was saying, it's like interpretation and it's also media. If you're learning about what Islam is through what other people say and just like word of mouth and like this person is saying this and this person is saying this, you don't really know and that goes for every religion and every culture. If you're just going from what someone's saying that really has no knowledge on it, then you don't really know and like Islam is peace, like Islam, like we are all like real Muslims like stand for like you stand for peace. Yeah. Like, you all want peace. No one wants to harm or hurt anybody. Yeah. We just we just want peace and we just want everybody to understand that like we're all the same and like we all stand for the same thing. I personally I love Islam once I made it my own because when I was younger it was one of those things that my parents like forced on me. You know, I feel like with religion it starts as something that your parents tell you to do, but like soon it became like my own thing and something that I like and also because I learned about Christianity and like other religions, like I had the opportunity to like like learn about different things. And also I think it's really cool how the Quran is the only book that's never been changed because you know it was passed down word for word and memorized. And like that's and like, Islam was the last religion. Yeah, the last religion also. Like that's the only book that has not be, been rewritten by like any like random kid named like John or something. You know, like I go to clubs and party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Well, oh, I do God. party, yeah, but like it depends. Like, 
like at the party like you don't drink you don't smoke like I just go with my friends to have fun but like I don't do any like all this bad stuff so it depends like on a person if you actually want to like do something crazy you're gonna do like regardless if it's a, at the party or like at your home so. you I used to party and whatever and then when I learned I learned, I think you learn through experience sometimes, and learning through experience, I learned that um, that's just not for me, and I kind of distance my, myself from situations. So honestly, no, I do not go to clubs, and I don't party anymore. So that's why I stood here, because I don't partake in that action after I learn from experience and learn that mostly negativity comes about being in those situations. You put yourself in a situation for something probably that negative could happen. But I don't know, maybe... I mean, I feel like, you know, it's good to have, like, fun once in a while, but I think that, you know, you don't need to, like, uh, put yourself in a situation where, you know, all your friends are drinking and stuff, because, you know, I've been, I've been to parties and stuff, but, like, usually there wouldn't really be drinks, we would just, like, have fun, we would dance, there would be music. So it depends and what kind of party you're going exactly. to. Exactly.